stop just watching AI coding video. In the next 15 minutes, you are not just going to learn how to use Cursor AI, you are going to build your first interactive web applications with it, and mastering the core workflows that professional developers use. This is for you, even if you never written a single line of code. And we are going to do it by avoiding the single biggest mistakes that almost everyone makes when they first start. Hi everyone, my name is Chang, I am a software engineer. For years, I have been building and optimizing systems at companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and most recently at TikTok. At that scale, space and efficiencies are everything. When I find a tool that gives a developer superpowers, I pay attention. And cursors is one of the biggest leaps forward I have ever seen. Most tutorials just show you the buttons. Today, I'm sharing the actual workflows I use in my projects a framework that will save you hours of frustrations. And to prove how much effort I put into this for you, I have created a free downloadable cheat sheet with the top prompts from this video. I will tell you how to get that later on. For now, let's get started. All right, so you've downloaded Cursor and you're ready to build something amazing. What is the first thing you do? If you just set, just open Cursor and then you just do tap, tap, tap like what you show in here you're already making the most common mistake. The most powerful AI copilot is Ulysses. If the pilot it doesn't have the flight plan. Before we ever write a single prompt, we need a plan. This is the best practice that separates professional developers from hobbyists. But you don't need complex design software. We are going to use a free AI tool called VODev. You can think of this like scratching on a napkin. You can just describe what you want to see here. And then it will generate a visual design and the initial code for you. You can tell it to make change, move things around, and get a solid visual starting point. For example, if I want to build a to-do list, I can just paste in this prompt. So spending just five minutes here will give AI in cursor a massive head start. Let's provide a critical context. Remember, measure twice, cut once. After a few minutes, you will have the design for it. We have the task here and then add a task. So after a couple minutes, you can see here, this one is so helpful. It's like an app for you already. So you have a task here, you have option for all, you have action for active and then complete one. And then all the function in here is working like test and then click add here. As you can see, it's already added. So it's functions like a to-do app already. So this one is already good. And we can use this as a source code to upgrade it using our cursor. Now that we have our flight plan, now we can open cursor. When you first open cursor, it looks a lot like VS Code, right? And that is intentional, as it's built on top of it. In here, I will cover the most three important areas in cursor. So if you look at the left here, you will see this one is open the folders, look exactly like VS Code, where you can open folders you already cloned or just clone directly repositories from GitHub or GitLab. Also like VS Code, in here at the top, you can see there's a couple tab here. This icon here will give you the extensions where you can download the extension just like VS Code. Since I import from VS Code, so it's already picked up all the extension that I use in VS Code, so it's really convenient. In the center here, this is where you can see your code here. And then to your right, you will see this one is AI chat. When we familiar with the layout, firstly, we will open the project that we already create in vo.dev. So after I open the folders, as you can see here, let's have everything exactly like a normal React code. But before we prompt to make this better, we are going to do one more setup step that is most tutorial miss. We are creating a .cursor rule file. At the root of your project, you want to create a file. This is cursor slash rule. After you enter, this will create a rule file here for you. This file is like giving the AI its core instructions. You can tell us like this. You are an expert in React. Always write clean and comment code. With this, you are preloading the AI with best practice. This simple file will make the AI output dramatically better. It is a totally game changer. Now let's take a closer look at the AI chat panel on the right here, because understanding this is the key. You have three modes here, and choosing the right one is crucial. 
For ancient mode, this is your builder. When you want the AIs to actually write, create, and modify files, you will use agent mode. This is for taking actions. Then we have ask. You can think of this as your consultants. Use it to ask questions about your code, brainstorm ideas for a feature, or ask for high-level architectural advice. This will not change your code directly. It will give you the information how to change the code. Last but not least, we have background mode. Think of this like AI assistants that are always active and look over your shoulder. So once you're choosing background, the layout is a little bit different. This one will present the current brand you have. It will take the background from this branch and put it inside the AIs to make sure that they understand all the context and the backgrounds of this project. A common beginner mistake is trying to get the Asmos to build everything. If you want code readings, just switch to agent mode. This is much better. In this section, you also have a choice of AI model as well. Current is point to auto, but after you turn off this one, you will see this have many models for you to choose. For coding, I found that GPA files often give the most reliable and well structured code. And this one is a new disk between all the models in here. So definitely you want to try that one. If you already go through the free credits for this model, you can always use things call for, which is also the latest model in here. Think of us like choosing the right specialist for the job. For today, let's stick with GPT-5 with the latest models to see how it's performed. Now our setup is done. For the most important part, we are going to take this static design code from vo.dev and bring it to life. Let's have the design for us ready. But the function in here doesn't really work well. We want to take this further with our cursor. This code is just visuals. It looks nice, but none of the button is working. It's just a blueprint. Now we are going to use the simple detailed prompts in the ancient mode to wire it up to make it even better. So now I already prepared a prompt for it. Just put it here. This one is really detailed and long as well, because I want to make sure that the Asian mode in here actually understand our prompts and know exactly what to do. So take this current component with the statics to do list designs and make it fully functional. Here's the requirements. So first we have the state manager. Add the logic to manage the list of tasks. User must be able to add new tasks delete tasks and toggle their completion status. And then for the functionalities, the input field should clear itself after new task is added. Prevent the user from adding empty tasks. When a task checkbox is clicked, the text should be straight through style. Then the third part that you want to write is UI UX policy. Add a character above the list that shows the number of incomplete tasks like three tasks left. When a new task is added, I should have the subtle fit in animations. Then we have the code qualities. Refactor the code by creating a separate components for individual tasks to keep the code clean and reusable. Add comment explaining the stage management logic as well. That is all the prompts that we have here. So let's run this to see how it's performed. It's planning for the next move here. And if you continue watch this, this is not just adding code. This is thinking like a developer immediately understands us need to create a new to-do items component, just like we asked it. Now it is reading the file and then thought for a couple seconds and then continue reading the file to make sure it have all the contacts and sees if we need to add anything new. Then it's, then it's planning for next move. As you can see here, it is implementing the to-do items component. And then we can understand the client server component as well. Now it is refactoring the code for us. Let's remove two items that we don't need in this to-do app. Then adding our new component as well. Let's continue adding the comments to all the stage management adding comments just like we asked. As you can see here, there is a power of giving the AI a clear and detailed brief. So this can run our prompts line by line and adding exactly what we want. After it's finished everything, it's give us the prompts. You don't really need to open the terminal. You can just click some option here. It will totally run it for us. Now we look at the result. The style is still the same, but now we have task is zero here. And now all the functionalities in here is working. We can say go to market. We have the checkbox in here. As you can see, it has the strike through and the text and you can edit it as well. 
And then if we go to the complete tabs, it's like complete here. All of the tasks. We can clear the completions as clear. So now we went from a static non working designs to a fully interactive police application with animations, added task counters, and cleans professional code structures. All of that with one prompt. That is a workflow. As you can see here, our app is now a complete product. But in the real projects, we're always adding V2 feature. So what if we want to make the user experience even better? Now let's add one more major feature. Drug and drugs reordering the task list. Please find a suitable library like React Beauties that and drop. Install it as a dependencies and implement the necessary code to allow users to reorder their task. The new order should always be saved to local storage. Okay, so now let's see how it works. Here we are showcasing the full powers of agent mode. I didn't tell us how to implement this. I just tell us what I want. The agent will find what is the popular libraries right now for drag and drop and finding what is the suitable one for us to use in this project. And now the agent suggests installing Hello Spangles drag and drop. So I have searched for this library and it's almost 1 million weekly download. And as you can see in this, it have drag and drop for column features. It can move around like this. This is really suitable for our to-do app. Now we can run the command here. This is getting error because we're using the React 19 instead of 16, 17, and 18. Next part is searching for the web to see how to implement it. This recognize that I need to run this legacy here to actually make us work. So that is perfect situation for me right now. Let's run this one. So as you can see, it can search the internet for documents and then how to fix it as well and make the fix here. Next part is modifying the code in the component, the drag and drop feature here. And then as you can see, it is going through multiple lines here to stylings and also have the drop features. What is the color for it? After it's finished adding features, it tell us to build and run this. While it is running, we can go to the app here. It is modifying our components, wrap up the list and the item with the necessary code from the library here. And it's also writing the handle drug n here. This handles the logic of reordering the items in our state and then saving it in the new order. This is a complex integration and it's handling perfectly. Let's see how it looks like in the project now. So right now we have one task. Let me add another. Now I want to drag go to schools at the first. So let's see if it's work. It's work perfectly. So it can drag and drop like this. I want to move this one up a little bit. This can reorder perfectly like that. We have a truly professional user experience. This is a pick of the AI assistant workflow. Not just buildings, but intelligently expanding applications with new and complex capabilities. The drag and drop feature is powerful, right? But the cost can be complex. Let's say you want to understand what AI just did in here. For example, what a sensor is, or what a drag and drop end is. And let's have a bunch of different things in the to-do items. So we want to understand it. To fully understand this, I'm going to highlight the functions handle drop end here. And then it will pop up the two parts, add to the chart or quick edit. Let's say I want to add to the chart here. After we do that, you can see it's adding this file name and then the line of code there. For this one, we don't want it to be the agent mode because we're not building anything. We don't need to have the code editor, right? We want to switch this one to as mode. Personally, I would use it for lessons for myself, like to understand some coding or understand some document. Next, we want to add some prompt here. I have explained this handle drug and function to me. How does this work with the libraries to reorder the task and update the state? Let's talk for some seconds and then let's read the to-do app. It also explains how the storage is going to work in drag and drop feature with local storage. How the libraries know what to drag and sortable. When you click on this one, it will navigate to where the code actually in the file. As you can see, the explanation is really detailed and you can click to know more. We can jump back and forth to see how it's fully worked together. Here is perfect. It tells us how the functions take the resource from the drug event, figure out the source and the destinations, create a new reorders copies of our task array, and update the application state. This is the instant lessons on the complex topic. 
So whenever you don't understand any things or the code is so complex, you can ask the AI to explain it for you. All right, for the final steps, let your cursor are the tools for some rapid fire policies. Let's see in the bottom, we have the tips. That's quite long, right? So for example, if I want to make this shorter, but I don't really know how to write this one, I can do quick edit or doing command pay. This one will pop up the sections for us to actually telling the AI what to do with this code. For example, in here, I can just do shorten these tips here and then enter. It will generate things. So we have the shorten tips, right? See, instant and precise. It's changing the text just like that. Next, let's try to use the terminal's copilot. Maybe we want to build our app for productions, but we don't remember what command to run and what to do first and what commands go next. So let's see if the AI can help us with this. I have terminal already open here. And what I do is command K. This will pop up the command instructions. Now I will add a prompt to ask for what command to build this project for productions. Okay, so it's now run build for us. So with this, no need to guess or searching online. Let's know the context of our project. This small optimizations keep you in state of flow and makes development incredibly faster. As you can see, the real powers of a tool like cursor is not just generating code. This is about changing how you build, test, and learn. You went from ideas to a functional app using a professional workflow. But building the software is just step one. If you want to create tutorial, demo, or content for your project, you need a crystal clear professional's voiceover. Professional tools like Eleven Labs can be expensive and most free options sound robotic. But what if there is a tool that is not only free, but sound even more natural than the paid competitions? That is why I make a dedicated tutorials on Google AI Studios for text to speed. This is incredible powerful tool that I use for my company. Click on the videos on the screen now to learn how to generate unlimited high quality voiceovers for all job projects completely for free. And don't forget to grab the cursor's prompt from the description below. Thank you for watching. Go build something amazing for yourself or your company. I will see you in the video right now. Oh,